All right, so we got our bootstrap template hosted on through at the S3 bucket and available on the web. And we're probably gonna to wanna to customize this. And probably the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is change this background image. So there's a wonderful place to find some images, unsplash.com. And here, tons of photographers have gifted some amazing photos. So we're gonna look for something that kind of rings true with a bad example. So we're gonna search for bad, and we're gonna look for someone or something that, you know, our mom wouldn't want us to hang out with, like this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and download this. We can say thank you if we'd like. We're gonna go ahead and show this in our folder. We're gonna copy this, and we're gonna go back over to our template. And here we can see the old header-bg.jpg. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this guy, or just simply delete them. But I like to keep things just in case. And we're gonna rename this to header.bg. Now what we need to do is upload this to Amazon. And we are in the images folder. We can see the old header-bg right here. Go ahead and upload, add files, header-bg, open. Again, we need to set the permissions, make sure that it's publicly readable. We're gonna click upload. This is gonna take a little bit of time just cause it's a fairly large image. Looks like it's done. We're gonna come back over here and we are gonna refresh the page and nothing has happened. That's because this image in the background has been referenced in the CSS and it's been cached. So your browser just kind of wants to make things faster for you. So it's not gonna refresh this background image but we can be sure that all new users that come to this page will get the new image. So we open up an incognito window and voila, there's that guy our mom doesn't want us to hang out with saying, welcome to a bad example. It's nice to meet you.